All right, folks, the deck is Big Neptulon Hunter. There's been a lot of discussion about priests and rogues cheating out Big Neptulons early, so Hunter is here to join the party. The way that you do this is you play a Masked Reveler, crash it into an opposing minion, and it summons a 2-2 Neptulon, which then pulls the two hands that can swing face the next turn. To help us get there, we've got carry-on studies to reduce the cost of the Masked Reveler, as well as a small package of the Wild Seeds so that we can control the board and actually apply a little bit of pressure so that Neptulon doesn't have to do all the work. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can catch me live at twitch.tv slash Ruffle. Watch this! All right, just look for the reveler. <laughs> Greetings. Ah, I see you brought guests. Can this deck even? Can this deck run even if we draw Neptron? Uh, it's not. It, the goal of the deck is never to run. Running is boring and stupid. I don't actually want to have things to crash into that with. I won't go down without a fight. That doesn't have taunt, does it? Uh, we can get more Neptulons just through the uh, the nine lives as well. Jigafin, very good. The best way to protect this uh here. You better watch your step and then bow. This is gonna get Well actually if they risky skip rest, that could uh, hit some damage here.
Okay. Always honker. Well met. Well met. Uh, I don't think I want to leave my Neptulon susceptible. I can't draw the Neptulon because I have the spear, and I'm just taking any card that isn't Neptulon. Well played. Can you? Thank you for the prime. Oof. Piggy. Okay, we use the master's call to find the reveler. Ah. ah. I see you brought guests. Hey, welcome, Sty. Why didn't you play standard mode? Uh, because I don't enjoy it. At least not as much as wild. And there are plenty of uh, good standard streaming streamers to watch. So when I do play standard or other modes, people tend not to watch. Which is perfectly fine. Just arrived. Care to explain why Neptulon is in the deck? Uh, it's the card that our deck is built around entirely. Fortunately, it looks like we're getting um, filed here. Or not. Or we are. That's why I went with the emergency maneuvers instead of the cat trick.
What a delightful party. Job's done. Party's over. Heard of me? You will. A lot of healing they're going to get here. Let the ritual of absolution commence. Okay, are they going for lethal here? I think it might be one of their only plays, so like it's really hard to clear uh, this in an efficient manner because of the uh, the reveler. What death rattle have they had? Okay, plague. File. Wait, is that gonna work out? Oh my god, it's gonna clear the Neptulon as well, isn't it? Four, five, and then the Neptulon is also five. Oh no, it missed a slot. No, that's just the... Oh! Oh my god, we dodged. Oh my god. It seems good into Pirate Rogue. Just like, while keeping this. I don't think that the uh, Carrion studies really helps us all that much. It's kind of going to be hard to activate the Reveler in general. I think we just need to rely mostly on Secrets to win this game, and then Neptulon to close it out. Ah, ah, I see you've brought guests. Okay. Not sure what to make of that. Secret rogue, okay. You know what, though? They could uh, shuffle my Neptulon back into my deck for me if I happen to draw it. Oh, we just nutted on him. Have 
Wild seeds any good? Uh, yes, it would appear that they are. Mostly because of the uh, Wild Spirits card. And the possibility of Tundra Rhino shenanigans. Don't let the door hit you. Is this dormant BS Hunter? Uh, no. I also don't know that... I would qualify the dormant minions as uh, BS. At least in our format. They're pretty fair and standard too. I mean, if they're strong and wild, they they're likely fairly strong and standard. But like, I don't know. Yeah, they seem like relatively fair cards. But I don't know what's going on in standard, so I can't say for sure. What I can assure you, though, is that there are far more broken things happening in this deck than the, the wilds seeds. Don't let the door hit you. Don't let the door hit you. You soon where you followed. God, look at how breasted busted these seeds are. My grave. All right, don't shuffle a minion back. Don't shuffle him. Thank you. I don't want to mess up the reveler, which I can now top deck. Huh? Hey, nobody is unluckier than me. We seem to be in a pretty good spot. Opponent in top deck mode. Feels Batman. Butcher keeps telling me to trying to bet me that I can't kick the hanging beef in his window. I would never take the bet though, because the stakes are too high. I guess. All right, let's look for things that cheat the Neptulon. That's it. This helps me survive for the Neptulon. If I had to guess, I'd assume it's just like a straight stag hunter. Or 
it. Like, I think Corb was winning on rank one with uh, just like a face hunter. Could be that. Nope, it's Beast Hunter. Okay. Eha. their donkeys. Shrek, is that you? I was just about to say that too, right? Like, Rexar is half ogre. So it makes sense. Story checks out. Are you gonna are you gonna finish this turn or just uh, hang out here? He did it! If you don't hurry up, I'm gonna go stomping through your swamp. should smash his mouth if he doesn't go fast. Careful now. Might as well be walking on the sun. What takes that hot? What a delightful pot. Oh, oh, and it's just, you know, a bit of an all-star. They think they're too good for us. The ice they're skating is getting pretty thin. It appears that way, huh? <laughs> Beaver. Beaver. That's not a beaver. Party's over. I'm so sick of these prawns being so feeble. You know? Really needs to get his game on. Only if he wants to get paid. You better watch your staff, or is it played? I don't know, I was never very good at haikus. I guess it's true that uh, all that glitters is gold.
I can't take it anymore? Hey. Why can't we be friends? I think this party is almost over. I mean, you're still just dead on board though, right? Unless they get uh, Misha. Or for some reason leave this completely alive. This doesn't solve any problem. Could be useful, but I don't want it right now because I do want to turn five uh, Reveler. Nice patches. I want to go here or here next turn, but I need to play this before turn five. Or on turn four at the latest. So unless I have something of high priority that I need to stag charge, I'm probably just holding back and playing the Master's Call on, on three. That needs to die. Wouldn't Barnes accomplish the same task? Nope, because you can't nine lives of Barnes. So you only get a single attempt at it. Much as I'd like to play that, it needs to be this. Blood and plunder. You have the weapon in hand, just play the weapon. What a delightful part. Party's over. <laughs> Why spend 4 mana on a 3-3 three, three when you can spend 3 mana on a 4 attack weapon and a 3-3? Three, three? They could have done all of this last turn. Never bring a sword to a fish fight. Give me that. Love what I am. Them for trying to take one of our hands away. Thank you. them to play a spell. Kavoon, 
Cthulhu. Oh yes, Cthulhu. we're just Cthulhu Hunter now. You can tell by the Cthulhu counter that popped up. Enjoy these tides, but be warned, they are endless. I miss old Cthulhu? Don't worry, they reprinted him this expansion, but with lifesteal. I mean, there are no outs that exist in their deck that win the game from here, but there we go. Thank you to legendary patrons Battlefly, Brian Quinn, Fizzle Jizzix, Gian Rusi, Jesse Fincham, Justice Crater, Nate Drex, Osiris, Iroflow Scarlet, Shado Yama, and Vanfix. 